Good morning, it's Sunday. I've been missing quite a while through the festive season and so I'm back to uh, tell you a bit an update of my situation. In the meantime I'm going to put my makeup on. Um, I've been I think the last time I spoke to you, I told you I was 12 days in hospital with a pneumonia. And after that, I got out on a Friday. And then the next week I had my session of chemotherapy with Trodelvi. And the next week after, I wasn't able to do it because my blood cells were again too low. And I was a bit upset. Um, after that, I had again treatment with my doctor because he was away on holiday. And uh, unfortunately, he f saw that my breast was getting worse. It's very red in comparison to the, no, the one that hasn't got anything. And it... It's, it was quite blown up. It's a little bit better now. And um, he thinks that even this chemo is not working properly. So I'm going to have another dose next week. I'm having injections since Thursday. Every day I do an injection to pull up my blood cells, my white blood cells. And if I can do my chemo, I'll do it. And then in two weeks time, I will have a PET scan done to see if this throttle V has done something or not. And if it's working or not. If it comes out that it's not working, I have anyway other possibilities with other chemotherapy. Well, I hope so. It's been quite a tough time. Uh, I've been crying a lot because, of course, I'm very positive as a person. And, um, but, you know, sometimes I just need to cry my eyes out because it's scary. It's not every day the same, you know. And uh, who is going through the same thing that I'm going through knows exactly how one feels. I'm sometimes scared of dying because I think I'm, I mean, I'm 52 years old. I, I want to live at least another 20 years, at least. I want to become a grandmother. I want to do a lot of things. And I'm, I mean, I've been married only three and a half years with my late husband and we are so much in love and we have such great time together that I'm really looking forward to stay with him and do things with him, you see? So the idea of not getting through this scares me quite a lot, but then I, I try not to focus on that and try to be positive the, the more I can. And I do a lot of blogging on my blog because you know I'm I live in Switzerland in the Italian part of Switzerland and uh, so my blog is mainly in Italian and I do once a week my blog in English for YouTube so if you would like to subscribe my channel please do so and uh, but as I say all the other videos are in Italian um, let me get on with my makeup. This is something very important that I always do every day. I won't go out the house without the makeup. Even if I'm not going out of the house, I still put my makeup on. This is very important. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel fresh and clean. And uh, this is something my mother always used to say. If the postman would ring the bell and she wouldn't have makeup on, she would say to me, oh, please go and open the door. I haven't got my face on. <laughs> so that's it. I 
hope you're all fine, having a great Sunday. And uh, what else can I say? Fortunately, fortunately, I've been sleeping very, very well. And that's a big thing because if you're not sleeping well, it's awful. So that's a good thing because not sleeping well, it, it's, it's, you know, it, you fall quite fast in a kind of a depression because you're so tired and things don't go how they should. And so, fortunately that, I mean, I, did, I didn't sleep well. The, the first night after chemo is a bit hard because I get um, cortisol. So that keeps me awake. But otherwise, I have my miracle drops that help me to sleep well. And that's a great thing. So, I hope I find you all fine. This is just my little video to say I haven't forgotten you. I'm back. And I'll let you know next Sunday, my next video, how things are going. Okay, take care. Bye.